Hello everyone. Today I'm in my kitchen and you might wonder why I'm talking to you from here. The reason is that this is a nice backdrop to what I want to talk about today. In today's gospel, Jesus is described as being like a good shepherd. That's why today is sometimes known as Good Shepherd Sunday. Today is also sometimes known as Vocation Sunday because this is the weekend when the church invites us to reflect on the vocation of those who are called to serve as like shepherds in the church, specifically those called to leadership as bishops, priests, deacons and members of what are known as religious orders, that is monks and nuns and sisters and brothers, those who live in convents and monasteries and religious communities. Of course these are not the only vocations, every one of us has a vocation, every one of us has a calling, but these are the vocations that we are invited to reflect upon and think about this weekend. And so today I want to talk specifically to our young people. I want to talk specifically to the parents of our young people. And I want to talk specifically to those who are not young people and those who are not parents. In other words, to everyone, because this is something that, that matters to us all. You see, although not everyone is called to be a priest, or a sister, or a brother, those vocations are important to everyone. The church need, needs priests, the church needs monks, the church needs nuns, the church needs deacons and members of religious orders. And we all have a role to play in nurturing those vocations. People sometimes wonder where priests, for example, come from. Do they come from the Vatican? Do they come from the church, as in the institution of the church? Well, they do come from the church, but they come from the church that is here. They come from the church that is in our homes, that is in our kitchens, that is in our living rooms. They come from the domestic church. They come from among our families and friends. Over the last few weeks, we've not been able to be in the building of the church, but it's been the domestic church, the church at home, that's been our experience of belonging to the church. And it is here that our vocations grow. So maybe God is calling you to the priesthood or the religious life. Or maybe God is calling someone you know, maybe your son, maybe your daughter, maybe your sister, maybe your brother, maybe your grandchild, maybe your friend, maybe your colleague. We can experience the call of God lots of different ways. It's fairly rare to experience it as a vision or as a mysterious voice from God, but we can feel God's call in other ways. We can feel God's call through the suggestion of someone else who maybe gives us an idea of what we could be doing. We can feel God's call through the, our experiences in life, especially those experiences that cause us to think again about the meaning of our life and its purpose. We can feel God's call too through the workings of our own hearts and minds and especially when we try to discern what our future path should be. So who knows whether God is calling someone you know to be a priest or to be a sister or to be a brother? Who knows if she is calling you to service in this way? Now, you could say that this is not a very good time for us to be promoting the idea of a vocation to serve the church and say the priesthood. After all, at the moment, most of the churches are, are physically locked. We've had a time of scandal in the church because of the sex abuse crisis. There are also some rules and things that can put us off, such as the fact that priests can't get married or that only men can be priests. And I'm not saying that those things aren't problems. I'm not saying that those are not things that need to change. But what I am saying is that the church needs priests. We all need priests. We all need people to answer God's call to leadership and service. The world faces some massive challenges over the next few years. And we all have a role in rising to those challenges. And in order for that to happen, we will need priests. I've been a priest now for 16 years this month. I can't think of anything that I would rather do apart that is from sitting on a train 
with a nice beer in the dining car. But I also can't think of anything that's more exciting, that's more rewarding, that's more fulfilling. Maybe God is calling you to priesthood. Or maybe God is calling someone that you know. If that's the case, then no matter what our objections may be, maybe God is calling us to do something about it.